just to carry, pick up on something that you talked about at the end of the last game, you mentioned that all these good teams that you're facing yeah. are going to be helpful to you going into the playoffs. Um, Florida's one of two teams you haven't beaten. Is it important to beat them just for, you know? I, I, I do think it's important to play well and do our best to try and get a win against them tonight. I don't think that that necessarily decides anything and something that might possibly happen in the future, but you're right. They, um, they've got our number this year. We need to put on a, uh, a good performance tonight and go out and win a hockey game. They're proven to be, you know, one of the top teams in the league based on what they did last year, based on what they've done this year. They're a top team. And so I do think it, from a preparation standpoint, I do think it does help to, you know, prepare your team for that type of hockey that you're going to see in a month. And that's why the schedule is really good. And you get a chance to play those teams and compete and hopefully win hockey games. So um, lots of reasons. That's one of them. Yeah, we'd like to beat them. Uh, two, we'd like to continue to collect points and, and, and prepare ourselves for the playoffs. Look like cool guy out there just yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I said it the other day. I mean, you know, uh, Will's a rookie. Technically, Johnny's first year as a regular in the NHL, and it, kind of that same way. Rempy's a rookie, um, and we're gonna have this. You know, we're gonna have some on this defense too. When our defensemen come back, we're gonna have to take a guy or two and 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 have them not play that night. I wish I could play 13 forwards. Will's. I thought, um, you know, a couple nights ago, a couple games ago, Will had a real strong game. And then three games ago, Johnny had a real strong game. And Rem comes in, he provides different elements for our team. So it's, um, if I could dress all 13 of them, I would love to. It's not about anything that any one of these players do if they come out. And generally speaking, not just those three, but if it's a defenseman, whatever it might be, I can only, I can only dress 12 and 6. And so, you know, communicated that to those players and just let them know that they got to be patient because we got a dozen games left. I hope we remain healthy. And if we do remain healthy, I'm going to have to make those decisions. And I'd just rather see everybody ready to play the playoffs and whatever that lineup has for that first playoff game, that's what we'll go with. Is there an element to, to wanting to make sure guys are fresh and healthy and maybe rotating in this final month? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, just because Will's out or Johnny's out doesn't mean that they're not fresh or healthy. They are, and they want to play, and I want them to play. But the uh, league says 12. I got 13, <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it. And so, well, you can yeah. go 13 and 5. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. That was the best you kind of respond to against yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that when you're yeah. So it's, you know, that's. It is what it is. I, 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 I hate I hate telling guys that. Will's been a he's been a really good player for us all year. I think he'll be right back in there. I, I guess what I, what I'm wondering about is maybe some of the more veteran guys who would you know who I, I'm sure we wouldn't look at it as a scratch, but yeah. like, there'd be a, a load management or whatever you want um, to call it that you could see heading to the playoffs. You know, I think if I think if anything comes into play where somebody's questionable for a game down the road, I think that 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 will be looked upon. Mm -hmm. Guys that are healthy and play, they want to play. And so we'll, we'll play the schedule hard till the end, you know. But I do think we will not put anybody at risk. Yeah, so there, if, if it's something they maybe could play through, but you want to make sure Correct. That we would go and we would probably most likely go in a different direction. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, I know that Jacob Trua uh, timeline was two to three weeks, about two or so weeks ago. Just where is he kind of at? I think that timeline is a good timeline. Yeah. I think we should just stay with that. We're at two. Yeah. Do you know? Are we? I think two, it's I think. A, okay. Yeah, so. So not with us yet, so maybe it's looking more like three. But I think you're, uh, the timeline is good. He's on the ice on his own, not with us yet. And so that's a, that's a real positive thing. Do you have an idea when the grid will start skating? Uh, uh, he's on the ice as well. Not with us, but he's on the ice. I want to ask you about um, Lexi Blackman Yeah. It seems like he's been consistently good for you guys all season. He's been, I mean, he's been, fan, he's been fantastic. Recently. Yeah, he's been fantastic. The, the growth in his game, what, what have you seen? You know, it's, it might be a bigger picture than me. Yeah. Um, it might be a better question for somebody else. What we've seen is a player who's come in and found real chemistry with um, a guy, a couple guys, and that line has been really effective and really productive. Um, his ability to attack the ice is 
ability to make plays and his, his skill level has been on display the entire year. But the chemistry with that line, Panarin, and for the most part now just Trocek, I think they've been a line that has just created almost every game. Almost every game they've been on point with trying to generate. Um, there's chemistry there, and you know that that may be uh, you know something I can answer to about the confidence that I think he's gaining now, knowing that and seeing that. Maybe that's different from the past, but I I see a player who's confident right now. And, and that level of confidence, of assertiveness, getting to those high danger spots on the ice, it seems like he, he's getting there a lot. I mean. Is that allowing that skill to shine? I, I think he needs that skill to, to, to get, well, it's either either he's getting there or somebody else is getting there and he's making the plays. But I think his skill and his vision and his offensive identity, his mindset, I think that's that's where all that comes from. I had a question about, you, you've spoken in the past about the ability to have a, a matchup line or a checking line. Right. Um, <laughs> And I'm curious as to like when you choose to, to use a checking line, is it just sort of a change of of uh, change changing it up against the team, or are there certain opposing lines that you feel like you need a checking line against always? For me, a checking line is a, a line that can start in the defensive zone, take on one of the top two lines, and just chew up some minutes um, with defensive zone starts. They're good responsible players defensively they think the game they they're hard to play against um, it does change for me a little bit from game to game um, and that's never you know it's never a real strict matchup it's just it's an opportunity to take that line and just have them eat some minutes against top guys and so I found it to be effective um, in the past and um, I think it can be effective in playoff series and opponents that you're playing where you feel like you need a line out there that can just wear them down a little bit. But it's just an option for you. It's not something that you would always do necessarily. Yeah, I mean, I like having one. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.